Welcome back to Online Tech Tips. Today, I'm looking at one of the coolest and most powerful connection standards out there, Thunderbolt. We'll talk about what it is, how it works, and why it's a game changer for your PC. First, a bit of a history lesson. Thunderbolt is the brainchild of a collaboration between Intel and Apple. If you've been in the Mac world, you probably remember Firewire, which was Apple's go-to for high-speed peripheral connections. But as technology advanced, Firewire just couldn't keep up, which is why we needed something like Thunderbolt. Originally codenamed Light Peak, Thunderbolt was designed to use optical cables for super-fast data transfer over long distances. However, to keep things practical and cost-effective, most Thunderbolt cables today use good old copper. This not only keeps the cost down, but also allows these cables to carry power, something you can't do over an optical fiber cable. So, what makes the Thunderbolt so special? It's a combo of two powerful protocols, PCI Express and DisplayPort. These protocols allow Thunderbolt to deliver blistering speeds and versatile connections. Thunderbolt 1 started with 10 gigabits per second. Thunderbolt 2 doubled that to 20 gigabits per second, and Thunderbolt 3 took it to a whopping 40 gigabits a second. But it didn't stop there. In 2023, Thunderbolt 4 became widely available, offering the same 40 gigabit bandwidth as Thunderbolt 3, but with more robust requirements, including better minimum performance and enhanced security. Thunderbolt 4 is also fully compatible with USB 4, making your connections even more seamless and versatile. One of the coolest things about Thunderbolt is its backwards compatibility. Thunderbolt 1 and 2 use a connector based on DisplayPort, but with an adapter you can still use them with Thunderbolt 3 and 4 ports. Just don't expect those older devices to magically run at Thunderbolt 3 or 4 speeds, they'll just stick to whatever they were designed for. What's also great is that Thunderbolt 3 and 4 ports include a USB controller, so any USB device will work in the Thunderbolt port. However, the reverse isn't true. Thunderbolt 3 and 4 devices won't work in a USB-C port, even though they share the same physical connector. Also, to take full advantage of Thunderbolt's capabilities, you'll need to use a Thunderbolt certified cable. Speaking of USB-C, it can be tricky to tell USB-C and Thunderbolt apart since they use the same port design. The key is in the details. Look for a small lightning bolt icon next to the port or on the cable itself. If you see that, you've got Thunderbolt. Thunderbolt has become super popular, especially in laptops like the MacBook, where it's often the only port you'll find, and for good reason. With Thunderbolt, you can daisy chain devices or use a hub to connect multiple peripherals through a single port. This is awesome for those of you with a minimalist setup, just one cable to rule them all. Plus, Thunderbolt's bandwidth means you can connect seriously powerful devices like external SSDs or GPUs. Imagine upgrading your Ultrabook's graphics performance without buying a new laptop. That's the power of Thunderbolt. Now, you might be wondering, what's the deal with Thunderbolt 5? Well, as of this recording, Thunderbolt 5 has been announced and is set to hit the market soon, potentially offering up to 80 gigabits of bandwidth, double that of Thunderbolt 3 and 4. It's also expected to bring even better support for multi-monitor setups and high-resolution displays. But don't worry if you've already invested in Thunderbolt 3 or 4. Thunderbolt 5 will be backwards compatible, so your current devices will still work, just not at the new speeds. And that's a wrap on Thunderbolt. If you found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe for more tech tips and explanations. See you next time.